I'm lucky enough today to have with me Stuart Ross, who is the founder of the Six Figure Mentors, and I'd just like to ask him a few questions about someone wanting to get started out online. So Stuart, just a, a quick question. Um, what sort of skills does someone need to actually get started out online? Because I know a lot of people think that you just need to go and push a few buttons and everything like that, and you're going to make your millions over, overnight. So, I mean, there are a few fundamental skills that everybody requires if they're going to be successful on the internet. But, I mean, there are really two key things that people underestimate, so I'll talk about those. Yeah. Um, the first thing is just basic business skills. Um, if you're coming from the corporate environment, um, been working in a job, for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, uh, there are a lot of sort of business skills that are required, which for me as well also includes productivity and other things that you need as a, as a self-employed or entrepreneur. Um, so the first thing is, is that what I find is that one of the key things that you need to sort of get very, very quickly if you're going to see results uh, fast online is um, you know, how to do your, 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 your productivity in terms of day-by-day -day runnings of your business. Right. Um, what I underestimated for probably the first year in running my online business was concentrated, focused time on specific tasks. Yeah. So for me, when you when I talk about business skills, um, I mean these are these are just basic things like from for example the time that you're putting in, uh, the hours that you're working on the business specifically, uh, the actual tasks that are involved with growing and developing the business, and then the second thing which is what is is. I suppose a lot of people are a lot more aware of is marketing skills, um, and it's actually what is it that you are going to do on a day by day basis to market your business. Right. Yeah. Um, so those two things alone, what I feel people underestimate the the, the time it takes to learn, um, and you know how important they are on a on a day by day weekly basis. Right. And the, and the other thing, um, and I know that I've had this problem as well. I mean. Most people jump around all over the place, they, they, they try things out, they don't know where to start, they, they see something on the internet that really excites them. There. So really, mindset plays quite a big part as well, I think, mm -hmm. and what, what's kind of like the ideal mindset to have? I think, you know, there's two things, there's two different mindsets, there's the, the opportunity seeker mindset mm -hmm. and there's the entrepreneur mindset. So you will see a lot, if you browse around the internet, you'll see a lot of things about law of attraction, think positive, and all of the other stuff, which I think plays an important overall part of your business. But I also believe that it can detract from you know, some of the basic things that you actually need to consider right. from a mindset perspective. So for me, you know, the key thing that I tell to, to all of my personal students is that the, the big difference between an entrepreneur and an opportunity seeker is that an opportunity seeker goes into a project with the mindset, I hope this is the one, or I hope this is going to work, or I hope this is the product that's going to change everything. Yeah. Um, an entrepreneur's mindset is much more, okay, well, this is proven, or I know this is going to work, and now it's time for me to make it happen. So, you, you know, you wouldn't go into an opportunity saying, you know, I hope this is the one. Um, you go into it with the mindset of, this is the one, and it's now down to me to make it happen. So I think you know the fundamental thing, mindset, is is such a, a huge thing. And you know when I look at the difference in how my mindset has changed from when I first started with my own business to where it is now, I could talk for hours and hours and hours on end about law of attraction and positive mindset and and, and, and all the rest of it. But I think you know the, the clear thing that you need to identify when you start um, to actually gain results, or you're likely to gain results, is that decision. And that decision is right. I'm not an opportunity seeker hoping. I'm an entrepreneur that's going to make this happen. And, and is there any way um, that, because I know that most people starting out online, they're going to be an opportunity seeker and they're going to have that opportunity seeker mindset. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that you can actually avoid that right mm -hmm. from the start? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, one of the quickest ways for you to actually do that is to, first of all, do your research and due diligence, and then it's to find a course or a mentor that you absolutely know can work for you. And the way, the way that you do that is you will see that it's proven to work for others. Right, yeah. uh, the reason I launched the Six Figure Mentors is because I had proven uh, track record for teaching people how to make money on the internet, how to grow their online businesses. And what I feel very fortunate is that we're in a situation where we have students like yourself who are proven to make things work, proven to make things happen online. And um, you know, if you actually, if anyone actually looks at our course as a prime example, uh, let alone other courses that are out there, other mentors and gurus, there's lots of different ways that you can pick something that's going to work. Yeah, yeah. And I think you know, if you can go into something, it's like, well, okay, you know, let's actually look at this realistically. Um, I'm no different from other people that have, have had success with this. 
um, whether it's network marketing, direct sales, affiliate marketing, direct uh, uh, sorry, uh, business opportunities, whether it's your own product. You know, if you go into it knowing that there's no excuse because there's umpteen other people that have had results from it, yeah. you can almost go into that course day one saying, right, you know, I don't need to hope this is going to be the one. It's already been proven, so now I'm going to make it happen. Um, and then the other key thing is that once you're actually uh, started a course or you're starting a journey, is to then is to then reduce all the other elements that you that may be coming into your inbox and things that are distracting you and everything else, and say, right, okay, let's look at the facts. I'm a newbie. I'm not making money online right now. I've done my research. I found the course. I've invested my money. Now it's time to make this happen. Delete all the other things that are going on in my life that are, you know, just distracting me. Other courses, uh, lists that I'm involved with, um, uh, you know, other products that I've bought in the past. Let's put them aside for now. Let's mean you won't go back to them and channel vision and focus on the course and the product that you, you've, you've done enough research and due diligence to know that to know that it can work for you. Yeah, and be, and I know that that really does work because when when an hour doesn't.